All right, let's look at a related rate problem. <clears throat> we have two planes approach an airport, one flying due west at 120 miles per hour, and the other flying due north at 150 miles per hour. Assuming, and then this, this should be they, assuming they fly at the same constant elevation, how fast is the distance between the planes changing when the westbound plane is 180 miles from the airport and the northbound plane is 225 miles from the airport? <clears throat> All right. So let's let's draw a picture of this first. Okay. So it says two planes approach an airport, one flying due west at 120 miles per hour. So we've got this one flying due west at 120 miles per hour. And then we have one flying due north at 150 miles per hour. Okay, We'll call this X and we'll call this Y. Okay, Here's a plane and here's a plane. Alright, <clears throat> and it wants to know how fast is the distance between the planes changing. Well, Here's the distance between the planes. We want to know how fast that's changing. We'll call this side here Z. All right, so let's let's look and see what all information they give us. All right, so we've got we've got this plane is flying due west at 120 miles per hour. Okay. So the, the rate that this is flying is 120 miles per hour. So that would be dx dt is equal to negative 120. And then the plane flying due north, the rate of change of this one is 150 miles per hour. So dy dt equals negative 150. Now why did I use the negative signs here? Because the distance between them is decreasing so we would use negative. If they were going apart, if they were flying away from each other like flying this way and they were flying east and south then it would be positive. But since, they're, since their distances between them are decreasing their rates would be negative. All right, and we want to know what? We want to know what the change in the distance between them is. We want to know the change in z, this distance here. This is what we're looking for, okay? And what other information do they give us? Well, they want to know they want to know how fast this distance is changing when the distance here is 180 miles. See, the westbound plane is 180 miles, so they tell us x is 180. And the northbound plane is 225 miles from the airport, so when this distance is 225 miles, so that's y equals 225. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our equations. Well, we know this is a right triangle because this is west and this, this one's flying west and this one's flying due north. So that means they're going to intersect at a 90 degree angle. So we have Pythagorean theorem, z squared equals x squared plus y squared. Now, I need to differentiate this with respect to t, with respect to time. So that's going to be 2z times dz dt equals 2x times dx dt plus 2y times dy dt. Okay? Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for dz dt. So what we could do is go ahead and solve for dz dt. I could divide everything by 
2z. So if I divide everything by 2z, see the 2's cancel here and here, and both of those cancel. So I'm left with dz dt is equal to x. Let me write that in a little bit neater. So we get x over z times dx dt plus y over z times dy dt. All right. So I have to have values to plug in for x, z, dx, dt, y, z, and dy, dt. All right. So let's see what I have. I have, I have x is 180. I have dx, dt, which is negative 120. I have y, which is 225. And I have dy, dt, which is negative 150. What I don't have is z. Okay, But I'm looking for the change in z when x is 180 and y is 225. So I can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for z. All right, So I have z squared is equal to 180 squared plus 225 squared and so z would equal 288. All right. So now I know what z is. So now I can take all this information, plug it in, and I can figure out what dz dt is. So let's move this up a little bit. All right. So I get dz dt is equal to x, which is 180, over z, which is 288, times dx dt, which is negative 120, plus y, which is 225, over z, which is 288, times dy dt, which is negative 150. Okay. And then I punch all this into my calculator here and I get dz dt is equal to negative 192 miles per hour. Okay. And what that means is that the distance between the planes is decreasing at a rate of about 192 miles per hour. Okay. All right. So I hope this video's helped. Uh, hope you'll check out my other videos. And if you like them, you can subscribe. All right. Thanks.